Good evening. Diwali. And the king has a Hindu first minister who's even richer than he is. And we have, yet again, a new prime minister. And today is the Conservative Party's very last chance. This autumn has been the season of three prime ministers. They have fallen like leaves from a tree. It's also been the autumn when we came within touching distance of a genuine, complete financial collapse, a national humiliation which will affect all of us still for some time to come. And it was the autumn when the Conservatives experienced extinction-level polling, which would see them reduced to only a handful of seats, perhaps finishing them off entirely as a political party. You'd think they'd have learned their lesson by now that they would finally link arms and support this new Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, as if they were a big, grown-up political party. Well, we'll see. After months of MPs wearing clown masks and trying to stab each other in the back with bananas and Liz Truss screaming silently as the markets went south, that's what a lot of exhausted voters want. Peace, calm, a little dullness. And it's what the markets want. Of course, a lot of other voters quite rightly want something else, a general election to kick the Conservatives out. But they were elected only three years ago on a manifesto which still stands. And until Tory MPs decide it's in their best interests to commit political suicide, a general election is something we are not going to get. Things have moved so fast over the last few days. Boris Johnson was barreling back from the Caribbean beach. He had momentum. He was going to stand. He had more than a hundred votes. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he wasn't. Collapse of stout party. And then Penny Mordant of the Royal Navy was going to take the contest to the Tory party members. She had momentum. She had a hundred votes. Oh, no, she didn't. Today, she pulled out bad, Penny. It turns out that Rishi Sunak, who had said almost nothing recently, but has smiled a lot, did have momentum. Suddenly, as of this afternoon, Rishi has lots and lots of new friends. Tonight, I'll be asking what kind of Prime Minister he might be, how big the task for him is, and whether the Tories are at last going to behave like grown-ups.